Hello, my hearties. A very, very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. Welcome, welcome, I say. So good to have you with us. And a big dinky-do from me, Scotty McClue. It's um, Saturday night. It's nine o'clock sharp. Nothing gets past me, of course. And it's the 3rd of February. 3rd of February, 2024. The years are fleeing in, I say. Come and join us and get following as soon as you possibly can. So much to get through tonight and so little time to do it in. I tell you, Debbie's just joined us. That's fantastic. And Ox has followed. There we are. A dinky do. Thank you very much, Mark. Very nice to have you with us, of course. Clever, clever, polite man. Uh, Dutch has joined us. Dinky do, Dutch. Dinky do, Scotty McClue. Dinky do, Alex. How nice to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome tonight. Super stuff. So we've got one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment just for you saying a dinky do. Hi, says Mark. Hi, Mark. Dinky do. Uh, good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Susan. How lovely to have you with us and I'm so glad you're here. I hope you are well. That's the most important thing tonight, I tell you. There we go. Tell us where you're watching from when you come on, guys. And then we can give you a bit of a shout out. I say to you, hello, hello, dinky do from Iowa. Adrian, how lovely to have you with us from Iowa. And uh, from uh, Iowa, not from Iowa. Iowa's in Scotland. Iowa is in the United States of America. Are you a Rangers supporter? I think everyone's a Rangers supporter to a greater or lesser extent, even if you're a Celtic supporter. And I think everyone's a Celtic supporter to a greater or lesser extent. Because you see, there's very little difference between the two. They're both Glasgow. They both have their roots in Glasgow. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's very interesting. Um, I'm doing okay, thanks, Scotty. Good one, Susan. I'm pleased to hear that. Hi, Scotty. It's David Dinky Do. Dinky Do. David will be hearing from you tonight, I tell you. Hello from Kent, says Emma B. Isn't that brilliant? Uh, Rappelator says, what's your favorite plane? I have so many. The Tiger Moth was a beauty. We like that one, I tell you. Ian says, hi, hi, Ian. Ian is sacrilegious. What's that, Ian? How's your day been, Scotty? A different bonnet tonight. Oh, Alan, different bonnet tonight, especially for you. There we are. I thought Alan will want a different bonnet tonight. I tell you. Uh, yes, we met when I was in Salt Lake City in Utah. Ah, Adrian, and you've got a McLean name. So that looks more like a McLean from Loch Bui in Mull. Check that out. Could I join your live, sir, says John. You're joining it, John. How old's your grandmother, says Dutch? She would be, I can tell you exactly, uh, she would be 139. So there you are. Amazing, isn't it? Fantastic. Uh, Susan and David had a good old chat. There's Kareem joined us. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Kareem. Lovely to have you with us when we get a wee chat later, Kareem. Very, very important. Lots to talk about tonight and so little time to do it in. Here's Jerry. Hi, Scotty. It's Jerry, number one van driver, Scotland and the West. I hope you don't get a bee in your bonnet tonight. Stay calm, says Paul. Paul, I've never, ever, ever had a bee in my bonnet, and I've always stayed calm. So that's rather good, isn't it? Scotty, lots of snow this week. Keep safe says Kareem. We will do our best, Kareem. Very important. But uh, we're getting there. I haven't seen you in donkeys, says Natalie. Well, you're here. Can you sing my favourite song, please? Depends what your favourite song is, I say to you. Can you tie a bow? I can Dutch. I learned to tie my shoelaces and I was so excited that uh, I kept on tying them and tying them again. I mean, this is just last week, you know. Uh, somewhere only we know. The Lily Allen version. Oh, well, you've got to be awfully careful because sometimes Lily used um, a non-appropriate word, you know. Uh, so there you are. So we might not be uh, doing that one. Scotty, are the phones working, says Tom. As far as I know, Tom, the phones are working. So we'll hopefully get a call from you at some point. Scotty, I miss the Magnum. Now, when you say you miss the Magnum, I don't think you mean the ice lolly. I think you mean the Magnum Centre in Irvine in Ayrshire. 
and I well understand it. A very fine place, I tell you. So there you are. Tom says, I can't get through, Scotty. Right, well, keep giving it a go, Tom, and uh, we'll see if we can get everything sorted out. I say to you, a warm welcome to everybody on the YouTube channel tonight. Everybody check out the YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, please, and give me a thumbs up. Very, very important. We get a thumbs up down to the bottom left, and you'll see it there. My great-grandmother is from the Isle of Mull. Well, Adrian, there you are. She'll be a Maclean of Loch Bui. Hi, Scotty, says Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Evelyn and Evelyn. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, loves you and gave his life for us to live. Please read his words. Neil, we always do. So there you are. So never a problem, never a chore. There we are. Uh, it's not going, says David. Let's see. Hello, you're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Nobody there. I tell you. There we go. Give us a call then and we'll see if we can uh, we can get you on. Very, very important. I said you. Now there. Oh, there we go. Hello, you're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Hello Scotty's Tom here. Tom, dinky do. How are you, la? Uh, I'm all right, Scotty. Scotty, can you do me a favour, sir? We prayer for Sean tonight. Oh, is he not too good? No, he's had a wee stroke there, Scotty. Oh, bless him. We'll all say a prayer for him, Tom. I uh, do, Scotty, because it was very hard. He was sitting down with my grandmother and the family there, and we were sort of having a wee family get-together, you know? Uh -huh. and I noticed he hadn't really been himself all week. Um, he normally showed me get up about 8 o'clock, you know, but all week he hasn't been getting up to about 1 in the afternoon, you know? And it's not like him, so I said to himself, geez, something's not right here. Um, he was sitting with us today and he just started grunting really loudly, you know. So we lifted him up and put him flat on the floor. I phoned the ambulance. The ambulance came out and uh, I took him away. And we went to give him CPR, but he was sort of shaking about a wee bit uh -huh. as if he was resisting. So then we um, got him brought to the hospital and uh, the hospital gave him something. They said, right, it's either a stroke or a seizure. And... Uh, they gave him a couple of things to sort him out and next thing you know he sort of he turned around a wee bit and he says oh tom you know and he was talking away and funny enough he's actually phoned my grandmother about 10 minutes there so himself you know he's came around rightly but i was in the hospital for about four hours sort of looking after him you know making sure things are him, you know oh tom you'll be very distressed la very distressed there's dylan saying brain oxygen levels have dropped is that not is that not amazing? They are right, that, right so. away. There's everybody with you. Well, Scotty, um, Sean has thought to himself. He's had a bit of a rash. He thought to himself, "Geez, do I have the shingles? The shingles, you know." Uh huh. And uh, and uh, another thing is, Sean would be a big smoker, you know. And uh, he gave up the smoking there for about four years, but he started to go back on to it. Right. And apparently, if you have the shingles. And he's got high blood pressure as well. So if you've got the shingles, high blood pressure, and you're smoking, you're more or less, you're very likely to get a stroke. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's, it's, it's not a good mix, actually. Bless him. What age is he, Tom, if I may ask? Sean's 81, Scotty. 81, bless him. Yes, wonderful. But see, when he was in the hospital, he was as sharp as a penny. Oh, you know? yeah. He was, yeah. Oh, all the questions, you know, but... And he actually seems better talking than what he was beforehand, you know? Yes, yes. It sounds like... Um, you know, he's, he's, he's got away with it today, if you know what I mean. Yeah, well, let me tell you, Scotty, like, uh, hopefully me and the grandmother are going up to see him tomorrow. And right. Sean's been through a lot, you know, Scotty? You know, like, yeah. uh, my mother, so Sean's daughter, you know, she died when she was 52. Oh, for goodness. Of multiple sclerosis, yes. MS. The MS, yes. Uh, she died whenever I was about 12, you know. Uh -huh. So it, and you're um, a great guy, America. Tom. You'll have been used to giving people a lot of emotional support, you know. Yeah, well, him and the grandmother have been through a lot, Scotty, you know. Yes. The both of them, you know. Wonderful. And you look after them. You're a great guy. Sean, we will do that. We'll not keep you hanging on tonight, but uh, we'll do that. And we send love right, to sorry. you. And we send love to Sean and to your grandmother as well, to Patricia. Well, yes. Next time you're up, next time you're live, Scotty, I'll give you a wee update on how he's doing. We'd love that. Bless you. And we'll all pray for him. Thank you so much.